I'm Mark from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we'll be taking a detailed look at the Milliken Smith Roll Pack 18 liter, which I've been testing for two weeks. We love the heritage look and feel and the comfortable harness system, but the roll top can make it kind of hard to access. We'll get into that and more in this video. Let's jump in. So starting with the outside materials, Milliken normally uses a blend of organic cotton and recycled polyester. This is the new fabric, the Dalton canvas, which is made from 100% recycled polyester. And as the years go on, Milliken is trying to use more and more recycled materials in their bags, so we can always appreciate that. In the hand, it still has that kind of like waxy canvas feel to it. Uh, it's very heritage vibes and as you can see it can kind of pick up marks like where there are creases and stuff so when you have a heritage bag like this um, after a few weeks it may not look the greatest until it like fully breaks in and kind of gets those all over the place and then you got that like kind of cool rugged almost leather looking look to it so it's just going to take a little bit to break in uh, but it, on the way it will definitely pick up some marks and creases and things like that now on the outside here let's start with the front strap as long as we're looking right at it uh, so this is a roll top bag here so this is just used to uh, cinch it down. There's a little bit of a strap keeper here. However, if you have the bag fully compressed You can't move the strap keeper any lower than this anyway, so you will still have a little tail here, but um, You know if you want to try to be tricky. I think you can Kind of tuck the tail end a little bit. This isn't too elastic So you might have a harder time, but just if you wanted to try to like manage it a little bit more uh, You know something like that and then behind that, there's a little flip out reflective panel. So if you are, you know, walking around or riding your bike at night, you got a little bit of more visibility here. And if you don't want it, it just flips away, tucks behind that strap. So that's a cool little neat feature uh, and just tucks away if you don't like it. Or if you want to attach a light, they do have a little spot for attaching a bike light or something like that here. So if you want to have both uh, for extra visibility, you got them. Um, and then also too on the front, we just have a little subtle Milliken logo here. So it doesn't pop out too much. Uh, nice subtle vibes there. And then what this strap connects to on top for the top part of the handle here, you kind of have this uh, faux leather feel here. And as you can see, there's you can either use this little handle or this bigger one for picking it up. Um, you know, if the bag is open, obviously you can't use this top one because it'll flip behind you there. But while it's closed, this is a great quick grab handle if you just need to move it around or something. And then this one in the back, you can also use for that, but this is really, I think, more for just hanging it up. This is just a kind of folded over nylon piece here. So you can just hang it up on a hook or anything like that. You probably would have a hard time with the, the other handle here and then moving on to the harness system this harness system has been incredibly comfortable to wear it's flexible it's well padded it's thick uh, it's just been great to use on the back panel same sort of thing very dense thick foam here which is great and then you got a nice air channel going right through the middle uh, we haven't worn this in hot temperatures but that would definitely help out uh, with any sort of like sweaty back or anything like that. The sternum strap here, on the one side, it is just a kind of folded over uh, nylon here that just runs through. And then you can adjust that between these two and then there's a sewing point here and then three more above. Now, this is definitely not our favorite kind of sternum strap. It's gonna take a minute to adjust versus if it was a clip or on a rail that you could just slide it. Um, so not our favorite, but once you get it set up, then you know, you're not gonna have to move it around anyways. And then on the opposite side, we have a little metal G-hook here 
and that just clips in there. Now, you really might not even need this for a bag of this size. This is an 18 liter. Um, but if you just need a little extra support, this will do just fine. But again, it's not the most sturdily attached sternum strap there. Uh, all these components here are metal, so that is great. And then same thing with the strap adjusters on the bottom. Just gives it like a kind of cleaner look, a little more fancy look to it. And uh, these adjust very easily. And strap keepers on both of these. So for a nice dangle-free experience. Now as far as pockets go on the outside, we have one little one here. This is kind of like a little stash pocket. Uh, I believe there's a key clip in here. If we can get out, as you can see, uh, when you have a laptop in here and then a tablet in this front pocket, we'll get into those. Uh, this kind of creates a stiff area, so it can be hard to get stuff out of here. But so we got a nice same sort of like metal key clip, same sort of metal as, as on the other parts of the bag. Uh, so that'll just stay put there. And then we have a wallet in here too, just for kind of safekeeping. Again, this pocket's hidden by a gusset. So uh, it's kind of a little bit of a secret pocket there. So, you know, harder to pick pocket there. And always, if it's right against your back, it's always makes it a little trickier too. On the laptop compartment here, uh, we have in here a 16 inch MacBook Pro, which just barely fits. Um, you really need to get the zipper all the way open and it can kind of get stuck on some of the gusseting once you get towards the end here because there is kind of like a little sewn pocket for the zipper to go into so you got to make sure you get it all the way past this as you can see there and also too just uh, sometimes the shoulder strap attachment point here will kind of get in the way. So you got to really make sure to get that out of the way. This would definitely do better with uh, even a 15 inch would probably help or a 13 inch would fit no problem in there. So that just slides in. You do have a tiny bit of a false bottom here, maybe an uh, inch, inch or so. And so that'll, the stiff frame sheet will kind of hit before your laptop does. So that'll help protect your laptop. And then on this gusset here, if you can see this little square here, that is a magnet. So uh, there's one on this side. So that'll just kind of help keep this gusset closed for a cleaner look so you're not seeing that zipper. So just everything about this bag is keeping a nice clean look. Now, if we open this bag up, like any roll top, it is gonna be hard to see inside, so hopefully we'll be able to show all this. Now, one thing you can do, uh, because the roll, the actual bag doesn't start till about here, so I mean, you got a, almost like a foot of extra roll top there, which is great for you know keeping everything protected from rain, because you can just make sure nothing gets in there by folding it over that many times. However, when accessing the bag, it can be a little tricky to just kind of deal with all this. So one thing you can do is just flip this kind of like inside out. The, uh, the top of this has like a stiff little piece in there. So it makes it easy to roll around that. So now that just kind of helps get rid of all that fabric. And so back here we have an admin panel, bright green on the inside, which we really like because it is very hard to see inside roll top bags, uh, especially if you don't kind of flip it over like this. So in the back, we have a little tablet sleeve, uh, and then these are just like little snap fastener buttons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so that'll keep anything from falling out. And we have a tablet in here. Now this is a great tablet spot because it only goes about halfway down the bag. So, you know, your tablet's not gonna slide to the very bottom here. It'll just stay nicely right on top there. Now in front of that, if you have any documents or folders or anything longer, this one does go all the way down to the bag. So this one uh, is a little harder 
to get into just because it can be so deep. So we just have a little notebook in there right now. But if you have anything uh, smaller, it's gonna kind of get lost down there. And then in front of that, we have one more little fastener pocket. And we just have a little mouse in there, great size for that. Um, again, this one just kind of goes like halfway down. And then next to that, a zippered pocket for anything smaller. We just have some assorted tech gear in there right now. But that's just a great spot if you have any t like tiny adapters or anything that uh, it's not gonna be kept in place by this nylon here, because this is all just open, you know. Um, and then you have plenty of room in the main compartment here. We just have a water bottle uh, because there are no water bottle pockets on the outside. Again, this bag's all about the clean look. Um, so if you want one, you're gonna have to put it on the inside and then just a uh, little extra packing cube just for some clothes and stuff and uh, some over the ear headphones as well. So as you can see, um, I just left a few little bits in there so you can just kind of see how hard it is to see inside. Um, you know, especially if it's darker gear, like there is a blower that was just sitting on top right there for just like cleaning off our cameras. Um, when that's in there, that can be very difficult to see. I uh, kind of wish this green extended towards the bottom of the bag as well instead of just the back. Um, it would just make everything a lot easier to see. But overall, as long as you use like a tech pouch or something like that or other little pouches for organization and you don't need to worry about the admin panel as much, this is a lot better just because, you know, if you don't want to have to roll it down every time, uh, this is kind of what you're looking at. I mean, there's just a lot of fabric on top here that you got to deal with. Um, so as long as you can kind of use it as a, like a bigger dump sack, this is a very comfortable bag to use and the sleek look uh, really fits in anywhere. So there you have it, the Smith Roll Pack 18 liter. Check out packhacker.com for more information and best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Link down below and we'll see you in the next video.